1972's Washington Quarter double struck on a scent planchet. Graded as PR-66 red by NGC. Collar dye did not fully deploy during the striking making coin expand into irregular shape. In God we trust, the date and the mint mark is crisply struck but the liberty is almost totally absent due to planchet size difference. This elusive error coin weighing 3.2 grams ended up selling for $9,600. Number 6. 1970D Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. According to Coin Grading Service, this issue still carries a somewhat more modest premium today. This date was poorly made for the most part, the dies appearing a bit indistinct when new and then being used entirely too long. Gems are not rare, but the certified population grading higher than MS-65 is rather limited. This MS-67 specimen ended up selling for $9,843.75 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1974's Washington Quarter. Elusive specimen in PR-70 Ultimate Grade with deep cameo feature. From a proof mintage of 2.6 million pieces, this specimen is literally the perfect coin. Liquid mirror fields contrast boldly with the strongly impressed devices to produce a memorable deep cameo effect. Simply unimprovable. It was sold for $9,200. Number 4. 1970s Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, at one point this variety was thought to be just as rare as the 1969s Double Die, although today's certified population figures suggest it is marginally more plentiful, albeit still scarce in any grade. Strong doubling is most prominent throughout in God We Trust and Liberty, but is also visible on the date. We have seen only a few full red examples of this variety in recent years. This gem red example displays sharp definition and satiny copper red mint luster. The coin is devoid of carbon spotting, and only a few microscopic surface marks are evident. The CAC endorsement is well earned. It was sold for $9,600. Number 3. Bicentennial Silver Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. The silver 1976s bicentennial dollar is widely available in certified capacity, although these coins largely reside in the MS66 and MS67 grade range, with the population dropping off sharply in MS68. This is in contrast to some clad issues in the series that are readily available even in MS69. The 1976s silver issue is a major rarity in MS69. This rare specimen fetched a sum of $18,600. Number 2. And this is 1972 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. The Cherry Picker's Guide lists nine different varieties of double die obverse 1972 cents, but FS101 is the guide book variety most in demand by collectors. The obverse legends exhibit a spread that approaches the famous 1955 FS101. The present crisply struck superb gem offers booming luster and unabraded orange red surfaces. It ended up selling for $14,400. Number 1. 1943's Walking Liberty Half Dollar Struck on a Peruvian Half Sol Planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the present coin is ranked number 49 in the 2010 edition of 100 Greatest U.S. Era Coins, where it is noted that only two Walking Liberty Half Dollars are known struck on foreign planchets. In 1943, the U.S. Mint struck various denominations for Peru, including the brass half sol at San Francisco. Somehow, the planchet made it between half-dollar dies. The satiny sun gold and rose red surfaces are unabraded but display minor carbon. FS101 exhibits die doubling on and God we trust in the sun's rays. It was sold for $21,150. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and leave a comment. God's will, see you in the next episode.